So the anti-corruption movement, I think when I was, when I was younger, I, I, I had so many issues that I cared about. I still do, but uh, the environment, healthcare, there are a number of things, but it always felt like there was a roadblock to what do I do in these movements because corruption came up. How, 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 how do we get uh, bills or, or, or le- legislation passed in, in these areas if my will as a person is not being represented um, fairly? So for a long time, there's just this feeling of like, I felt very disempowered. And then I found represent us and I loved what their message was. It was this, um, it was an apolitical message. So it, it wasn't Republican or Democrat. It was about how do we address corruption in this country? Right. And, and essentially, you know, to, to boil it down is if there's something you care about, corruption's in the way. Mm-hmm. Let's address that first so we can address a number of whatever else you care about. Um, right. Once we address corruption, we can deal with everything else. So, Max, what can we do? Like, what, what can we all do to help and take action? Yeah, so it's not that hard, actually. I, I think that's when, when we hear these big political words like gerrymandering and, and mm-hmm. voting rights, go, well, how, how as, as a, a single person, what can I do to help? This seems too big. And the truth is, no, um, collective action is, is really important, but collective right. action starts with you. And what you can do is you can have a conversation with a family member and a friend about this. But the reason why we're here is because I love represent us and they, they already made up a game plan. They have the actions for you. Um, it's at represent dot us backslash max. I, that sounds pretty simple. And, and what it is, is it's coming together. Sometimes it, it sounds like a big pain in the, but if you pick up the phone and you call your local elected official and just say, Hey, I really care about the, for the people act. And as a voter in your blah, blah, blah. And you have a conversation, there's scripts online for you. It's not hard. And it makes all the difference in the world. Mm-hmm. If you can get two friends, five friends, maybe where you just agree, Hey, I'm going to hold you accountable, pick up the phone, call your local person, deliver the message. And you keep doing that again. I'm going to throw, I love numbers. Yeah. Here's a, here's the number. I believe it's 3.5% is the magic number. If 3.5% of a population comes together, they can pass anything. That's, that's, wow. you look back across history, the civil rights movement, um, gay marriage, uh, equality, all of that starts. Once you hit the 3.5% threshold, it becomes federal. So if, wow. if, you, if we can get a small group of people who are really passionate, apply pressure, take very simple actions, like go to represent.us backslash max, follow the instructions, we can change this. 3.5%, that's such a small number. It's like still single digits. So Sounds like something we can definitely do, even just us young people or millennials and Gen Z, if we get enough mass momentum going. So yeah, good numbers to be encouraged by. And like Max said, guys, go to represent.us slash Max and get involved. Let's do this.